Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to another week in GTA Online. This week, surprisingly enough, we have some new content. Seven new races will be added to the game in the form of known unknown and also unknown unknown races. The description of them are the following. In known unknown races, switch between different vehicles at the various checkpoints, cycling randomly through a predetermined list until each available vehicle has been utilized. In unknown unknown races, these vehicle switches are more unexpected, challenging players to adjust on the fly to a randomly selected ride drawn from a larger pool of available vehicles. Now for those who are familiar with the uh, British racing driver known as Brophy1322, he kind of popularized a little known thing called Random All, which this sounds an awful lot like. So GTA Online officially getting Random All sounds very, very exciting. It's one of the things that I've always wanted to be added to the console versions of the game because PC players are the only ones who can play 5M. So this is something that's very excited and I'm very, very curious to see how well this has been done and I can't wait to check it out. This week you can also unlock the Vom Furrier Camo T by simply completing a gun running steel supply mission anytime and the weekly challenge this week requires you to complete three bunker research missions in order to receive a hundred thousand dollars and the dollar daggers hoodie also in case you're like me you complete the research already you can still do these missions and get a hundred thousand dollars just do three missions you'll get your reward for bonus money this week there's double cash and rp on the before mentioned strands from races as well as a bunker is also double cash and rp which is nice the bunker and Combination contract and the research missions are also double cash and RP. So definitely go out there and sell your bunker if you haven't done so in a little while. There's about $2 million for every time you sell a bunker up for grabs. But if you were to sell in the public lobby, you can even get closer to $3 million, if not more. So might be worth something to consider if you have a full bunker. And finally, double cash on the Gerald contact missions and four times RP on the Gerald contact missions. Yes, they've made it so that you can make double money but four times RP instead of just doing the thing that everyone would do, which is making it four times RP and money. Best because for some reason they think that contact missions is going to make anyone any money when the clock and bell farm rate literally exists. There's no way you're making half a million dollars in 45 minutes with these missions if they're four times money in RP. But go play them if you're looking to get a bunch of RP because that's actually a really solid way of doing so, especially as a newer player it is probably worth it to go and grind out these missions for a little while. For discounts this week, there is a 50% off ballistic equipment, 40% off the weaponized Tampa, anti-aircraft trailer, Dune FFV and Torero, and 30% off bunker properties, upgrades and modifications, and the Command S2, Greenwood and Cheetah Classic. And in the gun van, you can find the assault rifle for 50% off, so that means $4,000 less, as well as 30% off the Unholy Hellbringer for GTA Plus members only. Not necessarily something you really need to go out there and grab, considering it's a worse version of the Combat MG, so stick with the Combat MG Mark II if you have that. In terms of what to grab out of the regular discounts, a bunker is definitely a worthwhile pickup if you don't have one just yet. 30% off is pretty decent, especially for the upgrades. Get the one in much for your best location in terms of vehicles the Torero could be a fun pickup but it's not really on the top top end of the sports classics races so make sure to you know get it if you like what you see it's pretty fun to drive but it's definitely not the easiest for sure greenwood though one of the easier muscle cars to drive in the game but it's a bit more in the uh, mid pack of the muscle class and the cheetah classic is kind of up there but it doesn't have hsw so unless you're looking for like an alternative to the Turismo Classic, you might want to reconsider getting it. And finally, for removed vehicles at Simeon's showroom, you can find the XA21, Torero, Thrust, Tulip, and the Chubarek. There is, once again, not a whole lot here. The two recommendations here definitely are the XA21 and the Torero if you're looking for something different to drive within each respectable class. So with that said, that's it for this week. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and become a member like Chloe, GTA Plus, Notorious Jam, Dan, and the Chrysronics, and I'll see you all later.